here we're going to show the basic sombrata drill that you find in most all Filipino martial arts. Now sombrata means counter for counter and it basically teaches you which blocks to use for certain attacks and helps increase your speed, timing, and reflex. Now once you get the basic strikes and blocks down, watch the other hand, the left hand, how it's countering and checking. Also notice the footwork. The footwork is very important. As you see here, when I throw the horizontal strike, I step forward into my opponent. Then when he throws the vertical down or angle 8, I step off to the right. I have to angle away from the attack. Now here when I'm blocking the number 4 or horizontal strike, I have to step back away from it. Now no amount of me talking is going to drill this into your head. You're going to have to really look closely at the video and try to mimic the hand and foot movements as best you can as you see done here on the video. Now this is usually the next progression, the five count sombrata. There are many different counts and variations to these drills. These are just the two most common that I've seen. Now if you watch closely, what we're doing with the five count is we're adding the angle five and angle two strike in the middle of it. It's the same three count as before, but we're adding two more strikes to it in the middle and ending with the vertical down or angle eight. So as you see, here's the angle one, angle four, now the five comes in, the angle two, and then finish with the eight. One, four, five, thrusting, two backhand, and the angle eight. One thing that I will caution you on, on the wing block of the reverse roof, is you must use the left hand. That block is not strong enough to stop that number two attack. And the left hand is really what's stopping it. Now as you become more skilled, you will break out of the pre-designated patterns and begin to free flow or throw random attacks.